Hi, I'm Sam. I'm Dom. We're from Ithaca and you're watching, watching Forever Loud. Someone who hasn't listened to us, uh, what song would you tell them to listen to first and why? Ooh, good question. Yeah, title track of the album, Lay Ferris, I would say. Yeah. Because I think, I like to think that it kind of contains all the elements that if, if you like the kind of thing we do and you listen to that and like it, then you will like everything else, even the really weird stuff. Yeah. And it's like, um, it's really arrogant, but I listened to that tune and I'm like, this is actually a bit of a banger. Yeah, it's so, a bit of a banger. Yeah. Considering it came from a joke, drunk joke a drunk riff. drunk joke riff. Yeah, yes. I think, uh, I think, yeah, it worked out pretty well. Yeah. What is the feeling like when you're playing a sick show? Uh, sweaty. Like, yeah. that number one sweaty, 100%. Yeah. We made the stupid decision to wear suit trousers when we play, so we uh, I'm Sorry just like that. pouring the sweat. But it's also just really cathartic. Like we all have enough stuff going on in our lives that's not great, mm -hmm. uh, and work jobs sometimes that we don't like, and do bits that we're not like super into. So playing a show and seeing people sing along and getting people screaming lyrics back and that sort of stuff mm. is it's just the most cathartic thing. Yeah. What's the best or worst way someone has described your music? <laughs> um, <laughs> there's like I don't know if people will know about this but there's a thing amongst a lot, a lot of bands that we know which is called a German compliment which is when you play in Europe often like the Europeans God bless them have like a more kind of blunt approach to uh, feedback um, which I, I, I quite enjoy actually so often they'll just be like for the first two songs you sounded not good and then for the last three songs you sounded very good and then that's like that's their assessment of your gig my favorite one was the guy who came to us up to us the first time unfortunately sadly what you weren't there done the first time we'd ever played europe and it was a really fun show and we played this like diy space menu he came up and was like yes you were better than malevolence <laughs> and i was like what yes. a specific compliment so yeah that's um that's that's my favorite uh, that's what was pretty it? good best and worst yeah best. i think i think both that yeah to be honest <laughs> like live you are better than malevolence yeah i think I, it meets those boxes i think the one for me that ticks both of them isn't an actual thing someone said but just that photo <laughs> of us uh, yeah, playing with good, big teeth and it's just all the people in the front row with their fingers in their ears i'm yeah. just like that that's perfect. It's the biggest compliment, and also just like, oh, that, that oh, hurts. Oh, yeah. hurts. Yeah, sorry, this is actually really horrible. What we're doing? Oh, I think I know the answer to this, but I'm going to give you a go. You can pick one of pick one of our songs to soundtrack any movie. Which song and which movie would you choose? Okay, that, it's interesting that you say that you um, think you know, mm. um, because there's quite a few different ones I think would work really well. But I think. Uh, Number five at the uh, end Ooh. credits. End credits. The film ends. End credits of the next Resident Evil film. Yeah, <laughs> I think like bring back like choice. the metalcore and new metal horror movie soundtrack, and just have that. So it's like go through the film, you get the big thing cutting off, and then that kicks in. Will it? And it's just it's so yeah. obnoxious. It's I think really that'd be, uh, be a banger. Even for us, that's a really stupid riff. It is, so, yeah. it is. Um, I thought you were going to say, by the way, I thought you were going to say, like, Hold Be Held, which is the power ballad that we wrote at the end of the album. And I think it's very, like, we intentionally made a very kind of 80s throwback tune. And I, th I think it's a very good song to drive to. Not, I'm not saying I've done that. I'm not saying I've driven around <laughs> to try and tune. But if you did. If it's, uh, I say I did, you know? Um, yeah. That would be a good one. Uh, right, great answer. Yeah. Is there one favorite tour or moment that sticks out in your mind? Um, mm, that's a really hard question. Tour was, I still think my, honestly, my favorite was, was the Big Thief tour. Yeah, that was it insane. was so fucking men. Can I swear on this? Sorry. I forget. Yeah, yeah. That was just so <laughs> like insane that that happened. And the venues that we were playing, like bucket list venues, like Albert Hall in Manchester, yeah. Hammersmith Apollo, Paradiso in the Netherlands yeah. as well. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Cause you were there for, all yeah, for that like ridiculous. stunning, stunning venues. And we had like full catering and riders and bottles of wine and like, oh, it was like yeah. the life. 
Um, and their, their audience was so lovely and like, yeah, that was like the first time I think we'd ever as a band experienced like really nice touring and yeah, not yeah, like not horrible, DIY, yeah. grinding DIY life. Um, and best moment, I think, is like, we've had, since the, since the record came out, we've had a lot of people, I've had a lot of people coming up to me, because I tend to, when we play live, I tend to give like a speech about like, the, how the album is about like healing and trauma and all this sort of stuff. And I tend to have quite a lot of people coming up to me afterwards and kind of telling me about how often that speech like catches them at a particular point and like induces like quite a lot of emotion like it makes them cry or makes them feel things and that's kind of the or, or like people who've come up to us and they're like oh it's so cool to see a band who's like more diverse and that's genuinely the main reason why yeah i slash we, we do this right is to kind of get, bring something edifying to people beyond beyond the music so yeah, yeah stuff like that my uh, my favorite moment is like captured on film um, because it's uh, when we were record well writing for the album we did the writing retreats oh <laughs> yeah and, good choice, good um, choice. it was just like so necessary because it had been like such a, a horrible time during lockdown and we hadn't seen each other and then just um, I took a picture we used for that thrice cover um, and it is just my best mates goofing around on a beach um, just being idiots and you can just see how happy everyone is I'm just yeah, like yeah, yeah that's it trying to Trying to what cartwheel, cartwheel each other, yeah, hold like, each other and cartwheel. hold each other as they cartwheel on a yeah, it was pebble very, beach. Yeah, yeah. On, a, on a pebble beach. <laughs> very stupid. Insane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who is the hardest to wake up and who's the last to bus call? Um, okay, so if Deck's touring with us, Deck is Deck both. Deck is our merch person. Yeah, yeah. Um, we love shout, them. Shout out Deck, uh, not doing merch with us today, but um, yeah, they're, they're the worst for both of those. For both of those, um, comfortably, that's true. Otherwise, uh, probably Mills, Mills for both. Yeah, Jamila, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, she's gotten better, but definitely hardest to wake up. And, yeah. and historically, I would say like cumulatively, yeah. absolutely the last. Yeah, worse two, for, for bus call because um, even if they do make it on time, just before we leave, they'll roll a sig. Exactly, yeah. So, uh, that's yeah. That's correct. Which you, God bless you, don't do. I don't, so. I don't roll them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, and that's the other thing, you don't roll yeah, them. Yeah, the exactly. straights, the, it's the only straight thing I do. Ah, eh? there, there it um, is. Is that, did we get that? We, yeah. <laughs> if the band had a perfume line, what would it be called? Um, um, yeah, okay. Um, Eau de Mediocrity. <laughs> what, what do we think? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. So have you got a build? You're really good at these kinds no, of, I'm, these I'm, kind I of questions. No, I can't think of This is a very jackboxy question. It is a very jackboxy <laughs> question. You know, like, where's the pun? So where's the yeah, injury? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The... If, if I was doing a serious one, I'd do, yeah, I'd do something like odour. No, when we were doing language, it would have been odour odor injury. That's yeah, odour injury, yeah. Or like, no, yeah, something like, anyway. Bean tour. Bean tour. Yeah. Yeah, which is based on the fact that on previous tours, we've eaten mostly beans and then the van has been just the worst place by that. yeah worst yeah. place mostly before i was in the band though so it's okay that's true that's true um who in the band would be best and worst suited to survive in a post-apocalyptic world there's only one answer will it's will yeah it's comfortably will. will yeah will other 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 guitar player he's yeah. built like a tank he is yeah and he's, like is quite practical and quite level-headed yeah which i think is actually unlike anyone else in the band yeah, but is he cutthroat enough? Because that's, that's the question. <laughs> is he ruthless? Is like, he ruthless? I think he is fundamentally new, too nice a person, and I think maybe me and Mills would get an advantage over him. <laughs> Through sheer moral degradation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, fair enough. Immediate, as soon as like the alarms start going, that's it. Just all all my decency out Just the window. Like Just like shivin', uh, shanking, shivin' about yeah, town. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Good. And good why choice. Not? Very good choice. Yeah. Um, Me and Lewis were not in that conversation. And, and no, like, no, yeah, you, you, you don't no, get, you don't get to say. No, not surviving. Immediate uh, death. <laughs> is there a song that you have that means the most to you? Yeah, er, yeah, yeah. It is, it is Hold Be Held, yeah, because that was yeah. the one where, which is that, yeah, again, the last track on the album, it's like the sort of power ballad one. Um, and it really was, that was a big swing, part one, and you guys were really, really up for doing it and we all built it kind of together um but it's also about concluding like the themes of the album which are about like the, the capacity not just to kind of stare into your trauma which is what a lot of heavy music does but also to kind of crest through and come out the other side and, the re and we wrote it to be a genuinely like pretty and and be beautiful song for that reason to give people a sense that like yeah as, as i always say on stage like healing is possible and that like 
Yeah, it's it's like like a, 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 it's like an antidote against nihilism, and there's a lot of nihilism in our in our scene and in our world. So yeah, for me that's it. And like when when, when I first heard it all the way through, I did I did do a big big old yeah, cry. Yeah, no, it's ridiculous. My mate Yance singing on it, like yeah, it's it's big. So yeah. Mm, what do you love the most about being in a band right now? Right now, um, yeah. yeah, just getting to hang out with my pals all the time. It's uh, we all live in different places, and it's a really good excuse to actually see you lot. Um, mm, that's nice. that's probably the best thing. That and free room temperature lager. Very like, good. One of those. Very two. good. The, the 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 lukewarmest hummus. Yeah, exactly. That there could be. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Very good choice. Cheers for watching. Um, We've got our first US tour coming up uh, a couple of weeks from now. I'm not sure when it'll be from when you're watching this, but if you're out in the States, come and see us. Um, also doing an album playthrough. Uh, they fear us in full in November at the Dome uh, with our friends in Wallowing supporting. All the guests who played on the album are going to be coming to do their live instrumentation. It's going to be sick. Um, so come get a ticket to that because there's going to be loads of songs from that that we probably won't play live otherwise. So um, yeah, if you like us, come down to it. Yeah.